Hey y'all, Scott with the No Budget Homestead. And today I'd like to share with you some of my uh, tips and things that I do to uh, save money and make money. And I thought it would be a very appropriate video saying we're starting off the new year and including myself, a lot of people uh, tend to want to save more money or find ways not to spend so much. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what some of the ideas that I have and some of the things that I do. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, some of the things that uh, I do to uh, make some money that has really helped me, uh, there's a couple of things. Uh, a couple of things you can do is check out the Facebook yard sales. If you have a Facebook account, uh, I don't really use mine, but uh, if you have a Facebook account, uh, a lot of the different communities have uh, Facebook yard sale uh, <clears throat> accounts that you can go look at and see when the latest yard sales are happening and where and all that. Uh, some of the other things you can do is you can use Let Go, which I did in another video. Okay, a little uh, iPhone app <clears throat> that uh, allows you to sell stuff and communicate with people and everything. So. Uh, if you're curious more about that, check out the video I got here. I'll put a card. Okay, uh, let's see here. Just lost my notes here. <laughs> uh, you can also check out Craigslist and eBay. I do that. Uh, I have an eBay account, and I typically sell some stuff here and there on eBay if it won't sell on Let Go or Craigslist or something like that. Or uh, you could do a yard sale. Have a yard sale and sell some of your stuff. You know, yard sales, uh, a lot of people love going to them. I love going to them. I like getting up early in the morning, uh, taking some cash with me, and trying to go wheel and deal with things. So those are just a couple of tips uh, of what I do <clears throat> and what you can do to uh, make some extra cash this this year. Now, ways to save money. <clears throat> I have a little bit, a few more ways to do that, to save some money. And first, to get inspired, Man, that's good coffee. All right, some of the ways to save money. Uh, one thing that I've been doing at work, and those of you that have a full-time job <clears throat> should be able to do this, is do a payroll deduction. Take uh, a small amount. It doesn't have to be a lot. Uh, I start with 20, 20, $25 out of my paycheck going into a savings account that uh, I don't have access to readily. I mean, I can't go online and transfer money or anything like that. I have a debit not a debit card, uh, ATM card, so I can't even use it to charge stuff with. And I use that and I keep my emergency fund in there. <clears throat> and I have a uh, payroll deduction. Right now I think it's like 40 bucks or whatever per paycheck going in there. It's not a lot, but every little bit helps. Okay, so try and do a payroll deduction. Okay, uh, another thing is uh, go to yard sales. Like I mentioned earlier, you can go to yard sales and uh, not only can you sell stuff at a yard sale, but you can go to yard sales and find some really good deals. And I think I've shown you guys uh, some of the deals that I got uh, in a yard sale when I went around checking them out and everything. And uh, I think if I can find that video, I'll put a card up here for that also. Uh, let's see here, thrift stores. I go to thrift stores a lot, whether it's Goodwill. Uh, I'm not sure if Salvation Army has one or not. In my area, they don't. Uh, there's a... Uh, church thrift stores and then there's like uh, a group called Adullam House and everything. We got one <clears throat> kind of near our house uh, and we go there quite a bit and I find some really good deals there too. I mean found a pressure cooker for like 10 bucks. Yeah. Not bad. I mean it had all the pieces to it and everything and then I found some canning stuff uh, like the big pot. I think it was a 16 quart you know water bath canning pot for what was it two bucks yeah had a little dent on the edge but other than that it was it was still fine so so check those out i check those out all the time sometimes I even get clothes there and everything a lot of times you get name brand clothes there for like a dollar i've gotten jeans there for myself and my son uh shirts i mean polo shirts i got for a dollar a piece i mean come on you know, I don't always find them there. I mean, it is occasionally I'll find something like that, but yeah, it's a good place to check. So check out those thrift stores. Those are really good. Uh, recycle centers. <clears throat> now, uh, for recycle centers, whenever we take stuff to be recycled, like all our plastic goods, and if I got a lot of cardboard, I'll do that sometimes too, 
and everything. Uh, we'll go to the recycle center, and it never fails. Uh, almost, almost every time, I will find something that I could turn around and sell. Like uh, on Let Go, I well, when I went to this recycle center before, I found a, a vanity sink. It was good. It had the faucet and everything. There was no damage to it whatsoever. It looked like somebody just swapped sinks in their vanity, and took it down to the recycle center, and I took it and sold it for thirty bucks. Yeah, so that's 30 bucks more than I had and didn't cost me a thing. Uh, so check out those recycle centers. We've gotten quite a few things. Propane tanks. I've got empty propane tanks there. And it's a lot cheaper to exchange a propane tank than to go out and buy one. Uh, and this one was even pretty rough and it was beyond its expiration date. But you take it down there, they'll swap it. No problem. Uh, there's uh, an app called uh, Free Cycle or Trash Nothing. Uh, it's an app that I just recently found and I've been checking out and everything and it's a, all about people who are giving things away or want things for free okay it's a good way if you want to help others and they need something they post up there that they need something and you have it and you don't really need it anymore you can give it to them uh, or uh, if you're looking for stuff you can go there and look and see what people are giving away sometimes uh, like firewood for those of you that you know have wood burning stoves which I would love to have but uh, you can get firewood for free a lot of times. Uh, furniture. I saw people giving away furniture. So it's a really neat app. It's called Free Cycle or Trash Nothing. So check the App Store or the Google Play Store for that. Okay. Uh, another way to save money is uh, take a Dave Ramsey class. Granted, you got to pay to take a Dave Ramsey class, but you will save money during that nine week course. I've led a. a Dave Ramsey class at our church and uh, out of 10 families there was over ten thousand uh, dollars of debt lost during nine weeks and uh, about eight thousand dollars saved no nine thousand nine thousand five hundred and some change so over nine thousand dollars saved in nine weeks so it, it really it puts you in the proper mindset to take it so I highly recommend it because I mean I'm still using the envelope system which helps me a lot. Uh, this is his little deluxe envelope system. It's got, you know, I got even got things in there for haircuts and uh, <clears throat> birthdays and gifts. I put money away every month for that. So it's really cool. Or even uh, if you can't take the class right now, sell some stuff, hey, and then put it towards class. And also check out some of his books. It'll also help put you in the proper mindset of uh, ways to uh, save money, make money. Uh, ways to negotiate, uh, check out the different types of insurance that you have, what's good, what's bad, and he doesn't sell anything. So, you know, he's very uh, impartial on it, so it's, he's a wonderful thing. Go online to DaveRamsey.com and check it out. You can find a class in your area. Okay, enough with that. And they're not paying me anything for that endorsement either, but uh, I'm also leading a class at the end of February. I'm starting another class at our church for that, so. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, the last thing I kind of want to mention is uh, the Penny a Day Challenge. I've had quite a few of you uh, contact me and get a copy of the spreadsheet and everything. And I hope you guys will get back to me later on in the year and let me know how well you've done. Uh, but check out my video, the Penny a Day Challenge, okay? And it's about saving one penny one day on day one. And then the next day you save two pennies and you put it in a jar, and the next day you say take three pennies and put it in a jar, and the next day you take four pennies and put it in the jar throughout the whole year. So the most you're ever paying into your jar, putting into your jar uh, once a day is $3.65, or $3.66 if you're in a leap year. But you'll save over $670. Now, I don't know about you, even if you stop it in November to get ready for Christmas, I mean, that's still a few hundred bucks and it really helped me out it helped me get uh, some little toy that I wanted and I may show it to you later on in another video but uh, it, it's kind of part of my everyday carry so that's a little hint anyways guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it helps you uh, let's make this year the best year to save money and to uh, make money okay uh, I have other tips and everything, but I'm going to save those for another video. But uh, y'all have a simply unbelievable day. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you guys on the next video. 
And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Let's little man and I know how we're doing. Uh, put any comments below that you may have. Okay. And, uh, well, we look forward to hearing from you. Y'all have a simply unbelievable day. God bless. And as I said earlier, we'll see you on the next video. Oh, man, that's good.